Hi everybody, this is Everyday Commentary and this is a video overview of this pen. And this pen is the Edison Perlette in Deep Indigo Flake and it has a steel 1.1 stub nib on it and boy is this pen great. I got this pen after I got the Twisby Classic and the Twisby Classic that I had it just didn't work. The cap won't post, the collar around the nib leaks, it's hard to refill and I was just really pissed. But the stub nib is fantastic and so I was really really pleased to have uh, the stub nib. I just wanted it to be in a nicer pen and it's pretty hard to beat for the money. Um, these Edison pens, look at that. Isn't that just, like, it's it's almost intoxicating to watch this thing. It's like, it's like a little fireworks show. It's so awesome. Um, overall, I've been really impressed. I've used this pen for about a week now. Um, it's really super easy to refill as opposed to the piece of junk that was the Twisby. You know, standard uh, converter refill. This is no, no problems here. Uh, and, uh, Look at that, the cap posts, it stays put, again, unlike the uh, Twisby. Um, the form here is very similar to some of the uh, Nakia pens. It has this sort of finial point here and a little finial point here. But overall, the Perlette's kind of a small pen. So that's the Perlette, and this is the Shaker. The uh, tactile turn shaker, which is still one of my favorite pens. I love this pen. Um, oftentimes, I carry these together so that if I'm writing a lot, I take this pen. If I'm writing in a place that I need to like write on the wall, not on the wall, but standing up, or if I need to write in a rough area, or if I need to lend my pen out to somebody who doesn't know how to write with a fountain pen, I have this pen. So I often carry these guys in tandem, and they're a pretty fun combination. Uh, everybody will go, oh, that's a really nice pen. And then I pull this pen out, and I'm like, oh, that's a really nice pen. So it's fun to, to play with both of them. And this nib is not quite as smooth as a Twisby nib, but it's close. And uh, it gives me a little bit more page feedback, which I kind of like. Uh, but everything else about this pen is much, much nicer. Now it's $100 more, so that's not an insignificant amount of money. But I use pens a lot. I use them, you know, God, like <laughs> four hours a day. So, you know, Michael Jordan needs nice sneakers. I need a nice pen. I'm not the Michael Jordan of whatever I do, but, you know, I use it a lot, so it's probably worth the money. And again, I just... Sometimes you just stop and stare at how cool the indigo flake is, because that's pretty spectacular. Well, I don't have much bad to say about this pen. And I think probably the best compliment I could give this pen is that sometimes I don't have anything to say because I'm just staring at it. So when you get a chance, if you're interested in pens at all, go, go check out an, uh, an Edison pen. They're awesome, and the Perlette is a great size. Uh, they also make custom pens. They're all out of acrylic. I tried to get them to make it out of some metals, and they said no. And I tried to get them to make it out of desert ironwood, and they said no. So if you like acrylic, this is the way to go. And acrylic is really nice and light, and it feels good in the hand, and all that kind of stuff. But um, if you don't, if they don't make what you want, you know, you can always ask them. This I bought from uh, Goulet Pens, which did a great job of shipping super fast, and it was really well packed. So. Uh, hit them up if you get a chance, but this is the Edison Perlat and the review is coming.